all you wonderful friends out in YouTube world. It's Michelle the Music Mom and today is Healthy Weigh-In Fridays. How has my week gone on this journey to getting healthier and healthier each and every day? As many of you know, it's been a struggle time for many of us here on getting healthy. And that is part of life. Life leads us to times that are not the greatest and other times that are a breeze and then other times well there's some ups and downs right now mine is slowly going upward things are doing well I had a couple of wonderful things that happened to me this week on this journey but before I tell, share that with you I want to repeat my three goals for the month of July and I'm also going to include next week which is the first week of August, all right? So the three things are write, water, and walk. How have I done with those three things? Walking, I have done well. I've done over 11,000 steps each day, and wonderful. Water, it's been a struggle this week. Some days I did really well with my water. Sometimes I had uh, all eight glasses of water in and some days I only had four and some days I even had one so overall still in the positive direction of doing very well I don't know why when I get on the film that my nose starts to itch doggone it anyway pop sorry about that my goal is definitely to have eight glasses a day then last writing yes I am continuing to write in my Apologize, there it goes again. <laughs> I'm writing in my journal, my self made journal. So here it is. Continuing to write on it and track what I'm eating, my water, my mood, uh, my exercise, and other daily things, goals, and so forth that I am looking at. So I said I was going to share with you some things that were successes this week. The successes that I had this week are dealing with a couple of situations. That really, really upset me. For example, <laughs> I have a problem with large animals on the road. Yes, they sort of like to jump out at me at the wrong time and therefore damage my vehicle like major time so that happened to me again this week thank goodness it happened in an area up in Wyoming that my sister lives and I was able to have others to help me uh, get transported to where I need my son was with me nobody was hurt nothing except for the deer and uh, my son is, you know, like getting upset with me. And then he realizes, I looked at him, I said, don't do that, I'm ready to cry. And then I don't think he realized how upset I was. And you know, when I get upset, I have two ways of going. I either really explode and I just want to scream at the top of my lungs and let all that energy out. And, and sometimes I do that and I try to go to my room and just do it and throw pillows feels good and then you know it's really bad when I am absolutely quiet because I'm not a quiet person <laughs> no not at all and I said I'm about to cry and he says I'll give you a hug I said don't want a hug right now just let's get out of off the road and let's go where we need to for it safe well of course after that we're all fine and so forth. So shorten the story. How was this successful for me? One, I wanted to binge eat. I wanted to eat so bad. Oh my goodness. I, I ate more than I, I would have and had planned. But I kept it maintained. In other words, I, I ate more and tracked all the points. However, I still was in control. It wasn't in control of me. 
huge, huge success. Second one, when my husband found out, because of some transitions that are going on in our life, it, it has upset him. Um, and he's a quiet man, unlike me. And he's just thinking of all the things that this situation has caused other things to deal with, like possibility if they total this vehicle, because quite a bit of damage to the engine and so forth, then we have to find another vehicle. And that was a good, we had a really good deal on this car, and it's an excellent car. Hmm, not anymore, thank you to me and our friendly neighborhood. Not some more gear. Anyway, so my heart, of course, I want comfort and that he's so forth. So I'm not getting my, quote, emotional needs filled. And so what do I want to do? I want to binge. My husband is, I know that about him. When he is stressed to the max, he shuts down even more than I do. But this time we both were uh, dealing with that same stress and, but mine was added to because of the fact that I needed that reassurance and a hug and things like that. My husband did hug me, but he is not really talking because he's mulling over things in his mind on how this is going to uh, be a ripple effect with other things. And that's the way he is. But I needed that hug. I needed that reassurance. I need that whatever, and I wasn't getting it. And this is where it was, and I'm not complaining about my husband because he's a wonderful man, and I, after years of, excuse my nose, living with him and loving him and com being committed with him, I know this is his reaction. This is how he is. I accept that. I love him for that. However, <laughs> when I, it happens at a time that I am needing something, I want to turn to food. How many of you are like that? Have you done that? You want to turn to food. You want to eat and binge and get that comfort from that food. I didn't do it. I asked for the graces that I needed to not have that urge to binge, and I didn't. I did not binge and seek emotional comfort in my food. Holy schmoly. Have you ever heard that one before? Holy schmoly. Thank you, Lord. That, that, holy cow, was a major, 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 major. So, that's what I wanted to share with you. The two things that were extremely amazing for me this week. One, I didn't binge eat after I had a major stressful event happen. And two, because I wasn't getting what I thought was the comfort that I needed, I didn't go lean on food. Holy cow, that's amazing. Something's working with this thick head of mine. Well, how did I do on my weight? I lost 1.4 pounds. Yay, 190.6. So maybe next week I will, no, next week I will be in the 80s again. So heading the right direction again. That's the way it is. That's the healthy journey. Healthy journey is not only what I put in my mouth, it's how I think, how I feel, and how I react. Hopefully, that helps you out this week. I hope you listened this long to hear those wonderful words of wisdom that are not from me. Those are things that I have learned from many others. Have a blessed weekend. May the Lord let his face shine down upon you. Until we meet again, goodbye, my wonderful friends.